Welcome to Values You Can Use or Val Use. Are you worried about what's happening in the world, all this smut that's out there that our children, maybe even ourselves might stumble across or stumble upon? Well, we're like you. As parents, the value we want to share, therefore, is purity. The Bible says in Philippians 4 verse 8, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, dot, 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 dwell on these things. So how do we do that? How do we make sure we create an environment like that for our children, honey? Some tips? Well, I think on the one hand, as parents, we need to be careful about what we allow our children mm. to watch and because we're the gatekeepers of our home. And even Edric and myself, we try to be very careful. Like if we're watching something and then we, we evaluate it using that Bible verse and we say, why, why are we watching this? Why are we allowing ourselves to be um, desensitized by immorality or scenes that can also pollute our mind. Music even. Yes, and, and if we're telling our kids they can't watch this but mommy and dad can, then there's a, there's a hypocrisy there. And so we also need to model what it means to guard our eyes when it comes to purity. And we tell our kids, you know, you look away. And every time you see anything on the computer or the internet that you know you're not supposed mm. to see, you're never supposed to see nudity, we inform them when they're young so that as they get older, they will be trained to look away. Mm. And so I remember this worked so effectively. One time we were in the store and there's all kinds of magazines with half-naked people on it and our son was so upset and he he was trying to turn over all the magazines and he was trying to tell the he was trying to tell the store owner this is not right we can't have magazines like this and he was only about maybe 10 or 11 at the time but it had been instilled in him that he shouldn't be seeing these mm. things and so he was very passionate about trying to cover it for everybody else and I think that when we instill that when they're young mm. like what are some of the things that we do we tell our kids for example that you're private parts, they are private. Don't let people touch these mm. things. And we tell them also when it comes to pornography, you're not suppo supposed to see naked stuff on television. Right. What are some other things that you do with the boys? For me, the, the important thing that we try to convey to our children, and we tell other parents as well, is we cannot fully protect them from these things. Mm. We can do our best, but we cannot fully protect them. Even in the homeschooling environment, we've heard of stories of children getting exposed to pornography early on. So our job is to prepare them. Mm -hmm. This is how we do it. We tell them what the verse says. We help them embrace it mm -hmm. so that, Lord willing, they might have moments like that where they on their own will choose not to look at these things. And we create a healthy environment so that for my sons, I tell them you can approach daddy mm -hmm. for any questions you might have that have to do with this. And for our daughters, it's the yeah, same talk to me. with so we, joy. We try to make sure we have good communication when it comes to these things, that they feel like it's a safe place to open up to mommy and daddy mm -hmm. about things that personal. That's right. Purity.